931, and it's about this time on Wednesdays, Wednesdays, that we check in with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, and present Ask the Lawyer. Get your questions answered. A bit of a snafu yesterday led to us having the conversation today, and I hope that's okay with uh, you. We will find out if your question gets answered right now as we bring on, you know, I ask you to please help me do so, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this cloudy morning? Doing fine. How are things in the Shiner household? Everything's very well, thank you. Good, good. At the office, everybody staying relatively healthy? Um, yeah, we had two people out with COVID recently, but mm-hmm. they're on the mend, so we're yep. we're all optimistic. Okay. Fingers crossed that we get over this surge, and it's the last of them, right? I hope so. Okay. There is somebody else with fingers crossed today, whoever sent us this question. And it's one of those that I'm so glad to be able to talk to you about because I know you and your firm and your associates' level of compassion when it comes to abuse cases. Are are you ready? I'm ready, Todd. Okay, this is what the email says. I recently hired a pest control company for my Ponte Gorda home. The technician was frequently coming to our home when I was not there. I arrived home recently at 6 p.m. and the technician rushed to get in the company truck and left without even acknowledging me. When I entered my home, my daughter was distraught. It turns out my 14-year-old daughter had let the uniform technician in the house and he sexually assaulted her. I called the police and he was arrested. The police later told us the technician had a previous sexual assault arrest. My daughter is devastated by this incident, and according to our family doctor, my daughter will need a lot of therapy. As a single mom, I can't afford this expensive therapy. When we contacted the company, they indicated they are not responsible because it happened after the technician was done with work, and they had no idea about his previous arrest. I picked this company because on their website, they say that all their employees have background checks. I am at a loss about what to do. Can a lawyer help us? I know just the lawyer, and the answer is yes. Now, Bruce, what do you make of that? Well, I think they need to immediately call an experienced personal injury lawyer. Mm -hmm. I think that company is responsible. Their employee went to their house in his uniform. Mm -hmm. They didn't do an adequate background check because there was evidence that he had, you know, been charged with sexual assault in the past. They're responsible, and, you know, they need a good lawyer to pursue it. And it it does sound like she is going to need extended amounts of therapy to emotionally try to get past this situation. I really feel for, of course, the young girl, the abuse victim, but the single mom who has to try to come up with that money. Is there the possibility of getting a recovery for future therapy that extends way down the road? Absolutely. They could get a recovery for their pain and suffering, inconvenience, you know, mental Mm -hmm. um, problems, future care, past care. I got you. You know, everything, everything that a lawsuit would entitle them to. You know, I think this also makes a good point about companies that say their employees have background checks. There are background checks, and then there are background checks. And I know a lot of companies will provide different levels of background check for you if you're willing to pay enough. And that's what it comes down to. You're not going to find out everything with a basic background check, are you? You're not. And when you're sending people into other, when you're sending your employees into other people's homes, Mm -hmm. they have a very high standard of care. It might be, and I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here, uh, a good idea if... You're hiring a company, you have a child in the home, and you know they might be around to ask that company, what kind of background check do you perform on your employees? Are you able to uncover if somebody was arrested for something like this? Uh, because that, that might ease your mind. Well, I would take one step further. I wouldn't let anyone in my house with my children when, um, when I'm not home. That, too, is excellent advice. And... Um, Yeah, parents everywhere are shaking their heads on that one, Bruce. You're absolutely right. All right, well, the quickest thing to do is to get this person to a legal professional so they can begin to peel away the layers and start working on the case, right? That's true, Todd. 
And of course, the sooner the daughter gets into a therapeutic situation, obviously the better for her. I agree. Okay. Thank you so much, A, for allowing us to uh, bump this segment to today and being flexible, and B, for helping out in this very delicate situation. Well, thank you, Todd. I look forward to speaking with you next Wednesday. That is correct, sir. <laughs> and have a, <laughs> have a good weekend. Okay, thanks, Todd. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. We appreciate his time. He's a very busy guy, but always makes time for us and your questions. If you'd like to submit a question, you can do so on our website, kickscountry929.com. Just look for uh, Bruce L. Shiner or type in the keyword Bruce. If you have a more immediate situation, the one we just described would be considered an immediate situation that needs immediate intervention. By all means, call the Port Charlotte office at 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. Tell them the Todd sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.